Morning, my cotton killers. How's it going? Uh, thanks for tuning in today, guys. <clears throat> new setup. Yep, we've got a temporary new setup. Uh, so this isn't permanent, but it is. Uh, it's temporary for the time being. The next uh, few months, anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of the new, the new setup for now, anyway. Um, what we've got today, guys, is uh, some hardware, and um, this hardware was sent to me from possibly one of the best hardware uh, suppliers in United States, which is Dragon's Den Vapor, which I'll put down there. Um, now, Pete Broody was kind enough to send this RDA to me for free. Uh, I didn't pay for it. However, one thing that I endorse on my channel is uh, the truth. And uh, I will be honest with you, uh, if there's things that I'm not happy with or you know things I, I feel are not up to standard especially for the cost because this isn't a, a cheap RDA by all means um, I will be completely honest with you guys uh, you have my word on that one uh, so what we'll do is um, I'm gonna just tell you a lot where you can get this uh, read you some specs and then we're gonna go up close and I'm going to show you the packaging, what comes with it, break it down, show you the deck, all the good stuff. And then we'll come back up and we'll have like a final thoughts and uh, a little vape and then I'll say toodle pips. So, like I said, this is available from dragonsdenvapor.com. Uh, so www.dragonsdenvapor.com. Um, <clears throat> now, with Pete Broody's uh, website, he hasn't got it up for international credit card payments so what you'll have to do is for people overseas like myself who live in the UK um, if you're interested in buying any merch from him you need to contact him directly email him uh, he's a good guy very helpful very informative uh, you know if you've got any questions he'll, he'll be straight up with you uh, and tell you where and how is the best place uh, or, or what the best thing to spend your money on is um, you know what what's the current up-to-date good shit um, so <clears throat> this is the monarch or the monarch monarch RDA 24 millimeter RDA uh, I've got it in the gunmetal I will be going up close with this guys so yeah don't worry too much now for seeing it but as you can see there's a the, the butterfly on the front that is a monarch butterfly um, that's that's what it's called the monarch uh, this is uh, manufactured by 313 innovations Philippines so this is a Filipino RDA guys um, but this one uh, this is available in four different colors I believe let's have a quick look on the old laptop ski so get yourself a vape and uh, have a little chill for a sec Right, so this is available in black, gold, gunmetal, and stainless steel. Obviously, this is the gunmetal one. Um, so there we go. Uh, Eighty nine ninety nine USD, guys. This is not a cheap RDA. Uh, this is not cheap at all. Uh, Ninety dollars is considered in my books relatively high end. Uh, so. I expect this thing to be fucking flawless and um, to perform outstandingly uh, for that money. I want something really good. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just going to go through some specs with you. So some specs of the Monarch RDA guys. So it's 24mm like I stated earlier. Bottom and side airflow. Uh, gold plated positive post. Uh, silver plated positive pin. Delrin wide bore drip cap, drip tip. Uh, black and white so you get two options there uh, 510 drip tip adapter and uh, they're all serialized okay so it's a little bit of a, a bit, bit of spiel about the whole thing um, so so what we'll do is we'll go up close we'll take a look we'll take a gander and uh, yeah I'll, I'll show you uh, the ins and outs of this thing and uh, I'll tell you what I uh, despise of this thing, if anything, and uh, the things that I like about it. So guys, grab yourself a vape, get your mods, get your devices, come and grab yourself a cup of tea, yeah? Get a cup of tea or a drink or any kind of beverage and uh, 
Let's go down and have a look at this little thing, shall we? See you soon. Right, my chicken nuggets. Let's fucking do this. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> I think the first thing we need to address um, is quite simply the fact that the uh, the packaging is pretty much non-existent. Um, I think Boss Man's been in his shed cutting up bits of pipe insulator by the looks of it. Um, pretty fucking bad to be honest guys. Not not very impressed with the packaging at all. Uh, you know for $90 I think uh, we deserve a little bit more than this in the means of uh, presentation. But that's just my, uh, my two pence on that one. Um, so I say, yeah, it's just it's just a piece. It it looks just like pipe insulation, and uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it protects it, but doesn't do it any favors, really, does it? Let's face it. Uh, so let's get the RDA out, get all the bits out that you get in this uh, this bit of foam. So you also get this card, which is uh, the company logo or the, the logo on the RDA, which is of the Monarch Butterfly. Um, three one three Innovations, and on the back you've got your serial numbers, etc., etc., which should tie up at the bottom. Let's have a look. No, I don't think it's got. No, it hasn't. It hasn't got the serial number on it. So your uh, your only proof of serial number is on this card. So yeah, I think you need to uh, be looking after that, guys, because that's your proof that it's authentic. Uh, when stuff comes like this, guys, it's you know to you uh, to you manufacturers out there that manufacture RDAs and and whatever. Um, you know, you're making it very easy for cloners to clone your hardware, which is what you have created. You know, you've, you've spent a lot of time in developing and manufacturing this piece of hardware. And when it comes in something like this, uh, you just, you're making it very, very easy for it to be cloned. Just So just bear that in mind. Uh, you know, I think a little bit more effort needs to go into this for sure. Just throw that over there. So you do get a little bag of spares. Uh, you get the black and white uh, drip tip, white ball drip tip. The black ones on here, the white ones in the bag, and then you do get the 510 adapter as well, which we'll take take a little look at. So this is the 510 uh, adapter. So it's it's. Uh, this bit does come off, so you can put your own 510 if you've got an acrylic or whatever. Uh, you can use it in this if it's 510. With a nice double O ring around there, so that's good. Put that there. There's the the uh, the white wide bore. It almost looks like it was it was like designed for something else, and then they decided to change their mind at the last minute because I, I don't understand why this uh, this rims round here. It's it's almost uh, like a, an O-ring gap. Uh, it's where they'd put an O-ring, but it's on the mouthpiece, so it's it kind of feels a little bit. You you do feel it when it's in the mouth. Uh, you know it feels a little bit strange, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, it almost looks like they uh, they kind of thinking about using it for something else at some point and then just thought now nah, fuck it let's stick it in the drip tip so yeah a little bit bizarre but yeah th these are the drip tips you get with it guys anyway so they've all got double o-rings on them so they do fit nice and snug <coughs> allen key and they give you one O-ring, which I believe is for the lower deck, which we'll get to. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's for that. So you've got one O-ring, and you've also got four spare grub nuts, grub screws. So that's good. I'm glad they do that. I'm glad they give you the option of... Uh, I'm glad they put all four extras in there. That's really good. So let's take this apart. So this is the, uh, this is the black drip tip. Let's get an exact measurement on those for you. Let's get the calipers out. 
So in fact, let's use the other side because I can get inside of them then. So I'm still kind of getting used to these guys, so bear with me. So they are 11.7 millimeters outer bore, inner bore, and then the outer bore is, I'd say it's around about 12, that's 13, so 13, 13 millimeters. So, um, so 12 point, and let me just think a minute just on the outside. Oh no, they wouldn't. No, I was just thinking whether you were a half moon mod acrylics and that would fit. I think they come in at 12 point five, I believe. So no, they wouldn't. <coughs> they wouldn't fit. Um, yeah, I've you've, I've left the coils in for a reason, guys. I am going to take the coils out, but I'm I want to show you something first. Uh, so, so here we go. Is the uh, the laser engraving um, of the Monarch RDA of the uh, butterfly? I have no issues with the engravings. Um, I have no issues with the machine finish on this RDA. I think it's uh, it's very clean. There's no burrs, there's no spurs. It was very clean when I received it. It had no oil, no residual shit in within the RDA itself. So let's take this off. Now there's no inner sleeve for your adjustment of the airflow. Uh, it doesn't work like that. As you can see, there's these little cutouts on the RDA itself. That's what controls the airflow. This is obviously the outer sleeve which has got the airflow gaps and um, when you when it's obviously on you you twist it and adjust it I'll put it on a tube and show you in a bit but yeah th this is it the outer cap that's it no other parts uh, this is the deck 313 innovations gold plated positive deck with some high temp peak insulator so you can throw some well, you can see here I've got a serious build in here you can throw some really hot builds in this. Uh, you know, it's not going to melt on you. Uh, really nice size post holes as well. I'll get a measurement on those once I've got these coils out. But um, yeah, uh, so this has also got a silver plated positive pin. And it's got some peak insulating. Uh, peak insulator around the outside as you can see in there guys so machining's not a problem with the machining whatsoever so they've got the machining down they they can machine hardware is what i'm getting at 313 innovations um you know they've 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 showed that they've shown that they can they can pull off some pretty nice looking stuff i mean this it doesn't look like a bad deck at all uh but the function uh, is not good and uh, I'm going to explain why in due course but as you can see the finish on it's pretty nice so you do get the serial number that's uh, it's there we go it's on the positive deck 429 you can just see it there unusual to have it there I was expecting it to be underneath but yeah at least it's uh, it is actually on there so that's good as you can see that this although it's it's very clean looking it's it has got a very strange design this RDA guys uh, in my opinion uh, you know it's very very high it's very deep um, and it's just a little bit weird looking um, I mean the one o-ring at the bottom doesn't work great um, I find that once the outer cap is actually on this, I'm going to put this on my tube. It's going to make it a lot easier. Just bear with me, guys. So let's just pop this on my tube for a second. I want to just show you something. So this bottom, this bottom O-ring, it as you can see, I'm, when I push this down. When it's got juice in there, it lifts up and it's very, very loose, guys. It's not sturdy. It's it's not secured. You know what I mean? It's it doesn't feel like it's a sturdy piece of hardware, a sturdy RDA at all. It feels very wobbly in your mouth when you're vaping on this, um, and that is because 
this piece inside this this deck is so is so tall it's so high and you've only got that one o-ring on there um which is not enough uh, it needs another one on there really in my opinion um <clears throat> Now, the problem with this RDA, and I believe you'll all agree uh, if you try this, is because the airflow is adjusted by um, adjusting this outer cap with the with the gap on this RDA here on this on this deck. So you adjust the airflow, like I've said, with this outer cap with the gap in the deck. What happens? Uh, <laughs> Is there's two things really. Firstly, if you look through there, you can see that I have got these coils down as low as I can possibly get them without them touching the the uh, bottom airflow tube that sits at the back there. Now, you want this airflow, this this airflow at the side. You want this to be hitting that coil. Uh, or at least hitting it underneath the coil because it one it gives a nice vape uh, you know it's cooling the, it's also cooling the coil down um, so it doesn't get too hot and secondly it's go you're going to get a lot more vapor uh, you know the the airflow can't, direct airflow to the coil means maximum flavor and maximum airflow this is uh, is not doing that at all uh, it's not even close. Uh, if it was close, I would say, you know, it's not too far off, but it's there. It's not. It, it's a million miles away from being anywhere near what I would expect from a high-end RDA. Uh, now, one of the big problems is when you adjust your airflow like this, there's no way of repositioning the top cap. Like, say, if you have the inner sleeve of the AFC, and once you'd adjusted your airflow, you could then re-centralize this to the like to have whatever airflow you've chosen on this, centralize it to have it central of your coil. You can't do that. Uh, once you close off this gap, it is what it is, you know. And if you do this and you've only got this tiny little gap there, that is literally hitting the very end of my coil. That's not doing any favours whatsoever towards the vaping experience on this RDA. It's it's absolutely pointless. It's it is pointless. Um, it's not a good design, guys. It's it's not good at all. You know, I I, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news. I've you know, it's, it, but that's the nature of the game for us reviewers, or the honest ones anyway. And um, it's it's just not good. Now. When you've got your bottom airflow, so you can use your bottom airflow independent and close your side airflow off, um, or you're going to have them both wide open or adjust them two at the same time. So having the bottom airflow running, okay, just the bottom, look, there's a gap. You see the gaps? One, let me see if I can get bit closer for you you can see it it's not difficult to see these gaps here guys either side what's happening is this is that airflow is going nowhere it's hitting the side of this post and when you're lung punching it and you've got the bottom airflow it almost gives the impression of the, the easiest way I can describe this is trying to suck juice through a straw that's got holes in it it's got that kind of bubbling effect and the the vapor production and the flavor is it's awful it is absolutely awful these gaps shouldn't be here okay this cap lifts up you push it down it lifts up after time it's because it's so loose that it's not it's not secure it rises up constantly which makes these gaps even worse you know but when it's fully down those gaps are still there guys you can see them look not great um 
it really does affect the the vaping experience on this RDA. Uh, so so yeah, it's uh, in my opinion not great. Laser engravings are nice. They're clean. The finish on this on this RDA is nice. It's clean. Okay, so you know they've they've proven that they can machine. They can they can machine some hardware, and they can do a decent job. But I think they definitely need to go back to the drawing board on means of how airflow works and how maximum flavor is achieved. This thing also, guys, absolutely fucking leaks like a bitch, and I mean leaks. Uh, it pisses everywhere. It's a joke. It really is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take out these coils. So <clears throat> here's the uh, so it's a little bit of a better look at the actual uh, deck itself. Now you do have a, a, a obviously you've got a very a very deep juice well. Uh, in fact, we've got approximately. What I'll do is I'll measure down to the bottom airflow and then to there. So we've got six millimeters. We've got a six millimeter deep juice well, thereabouts. And yeah, these post holes, uh, the diameter on these are, so we've got 2.7 on the post hole, okay? So really nice wide post holes, you can get some really nice builds in this RDA but like I've stated um, <clears throat> the airflow guys is abysmal I don't think I could use a word that describes it of how actually how bad it is I think abysmal is the worst I can come up with and <clears throat> yeah uh, <laughs> like I've stated it's it's not good uh, the deck is stainless steel say so this is gold plated the positive post is gold plated and it does have a silver positive pin that runs through and then you've got your laser engravings underneath designed and manufactured by 313 innovations philippines so yeah i mean like i say the finish guys you know i've got no issues with the finish of this whatsoever um i'm just not happy with the performance at all um, it's really not good. They could have also, with this being so tall, uh, if they would have tapered the ends in a little bit more, that would have helped towards flavour, but they've kind of just cut it straight off, which doesn't help at all either in condensing vapour. So there's that as well. But yeah, apart from that, the finish is nice. Let's say the engraved, the, the laser works nice on it. And um, and yeah, that's that's about it, guys. So uh, we'll come back up to FaceTime and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it. And yeah, I'll see you in a second. So there you have it, guys. The Monarch RDA. Um, what can I say? Uh, God, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Um, I'm not happy with this RDA at all. Uh, I'm I'm very disappointed with the airflow. Uh, the the airflow sucks. It really does suck. Um, it's not independent. You can't have the top open and the bottom closed at the same time, which is a which is a, a, a con to me. Um, I I like to have options it's all about options you know when you buy stuff that costs a lot of money you know you spend your hard-earned money on you want options uh that option isn't there you do have the option of running the bottom airflow uh independently on its own without having been able to adjust the top airflow you can't adjust them at the same time as well because the the airflow uh is integrated into the deck so to speak uh, and the outer sleeve is just that one piece that you turn to adjust onto the gap that's in the deck. You you can't centralise the airflow to your coil. Uh, so when you're adjusting, like I explained in the close up, you can't get the airflow direct onto your coil, which is uh, which is a big shit. It really is. It makes a huge difference in the flavour and the vapour production. 
You also can't get your coils low enough to get the, the top airflow direct onto your coils or even just underneath. Uh, they're actually quite off the mark with this one and uh, it's a real big disappointment. It leaks like a bitch. Um, it really does fucking leak this RDA guys, it's bad. Um, it's constantly leaking for me. Uh, it's, just a, it's just not a good RDA guys in my opinion. Uh, I'm not happy with this at all. The finish, the machine quality is is very nice. I can't complain on that one. Um, but for what it's for what this thing costs, I expect this thing to be, you know, fucking awesome. And it's not. It's just not. So you know, if if <clears throat> if it was my own money and I was on Mr. Mr. Broody's uh, website on Dragon's Den and uh, I seen this and I knew this about this RDA, would I buy it? No, I wouldn't. Um, I just couldn't buy it guys, it's just it's just not for me, uh, it just feels very wobbly. When you're lung punching this thing, there's air escaping and that's why you're losing flavour and vapour production, you know, you've just, when you've, when you've got the, the bottom airflow working independently on its own, so you've closed the top off and you've just got the bottom running, there's still air leaking out of this bit here because it, there's a tiny little gap that I mentioned uh, of the deck which is hitting the side of the clamps which there's no air getting onto the coils at all that, it's, that's affecting the vape that's really affecting the vape and uh, yeah it's it's just not good guys I'm sorry and the packaging I mean come on that is woeful that is proper woeful um, for the lack of it, keep going back to the money, you know, the, the financial side of this thing and all ha uh, hardware for that matter. You know, when you're spending that kind of money, you it'd be nice. To, I'm not asking for gold plated with embroidered with fucking diamonds smuggled from Africa, I'm just asking for something that's a little bit nice on the eye, you know. I mean, it doesn't have to be fucking super duper, but just, you know, a li just a little, even if it's in a nice little velvet bag, you know, or anything, just uh, other than a fucking bit of pipe insulation, I mean, that's just, that's, that's, that's cheap, guys, that's really cheap, and, um, yeah, not good, not good at all, um, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I think 313 Innovations have got a little bit of work to do on this RDA to get it right, uh, I think they need to go back to the drawing board, for sure, and, yeah, Sorry about this one guys, but you know, I said I'd be truthful and uh, I'm being truthful on this one for sure. So if you enjoyed the review guys, remember to hit that thumbs up, uh, subscribe to Clean Cotton Killers, uh, I appreciate it. We've got, I've got loads of stuff coming up, I've got some real nice hardware coming up. If you want to stay in touch with Clean Cotton Killers, uh, what's going on and all that kind of stuff, head on over to the Facebook group, Clean Cotton Killers, all one word, all capital letters and uh, get involved. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a nice chill place to be on Facebook. And um, yeah, if you wanna get hold of me for anything, guys, you can hit me up on cleancottonkillers at mail.com. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll leave links in the description for uh, Dragon's Den, Vapor. Uh, awesome, awesome website, guys. Um, just be prepared, if you go on his website, you will be nursing a chubby or fucking nursing a wide on if you're a female, because the place is amazing. Uh, the hardware he has is fucking sensational. Feel free to comment down below, uh, share your experiences with this RD8 if you have it. And yeah, that's it. So, until next time guys, keep it clean my cotton killers. Milk.